Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your computer for lower latency and more FPS. It's all done using this free tweaking utility I made. It's super easy to use and it's completely free. All you have to do to get it is join the Discord and download it. The Discord link will be in the description. And don't worry guys, I've tested my optimizations on hundreds of computers and everyone loves it. Once you've joined, you can just click free tweaks here on the left. It'll be this first file down here. All you have to do is click download. It's a zip file, so you may need to install 7-zip to extract it with the encrypted password. All you'll do once you have it is right-click, 7-zip, extract it. The password to this is signs.net, S-Y-N-E-Z dot net, all lowercase. Press OK. It'll extract it here. Double-click on it. You'll see the uh, utility executable in the Power Run file. So just open up Power Run, click File, and allow command line info. Once you've done that, you can drag and drop it on this. Once again, it's going to ask you for another password. You just type signs.net, again, all lowercase, synez.net, and press OK. So basically what this utility does is it's disabling all kinds of power saving. It's going to do a lot of registry tweaks for you and reduce your processes by a lot. You're going to see a big FPS boost. You could see a ping reduction, and you're definitely going to see a big latency decrease as well. It's going to say I'm checking for administrative terms. Once it's checked, you'll see a screen like this. If it aired out and you didn't get to this screen, you may need to disable um, user access control, UAC, or you didn't drag it over power run here. So once you're on this screen, I kept it as simple as I could for you guys. Just going to apply main tweaks and then import the power plan. So all you have to do is type 1, press enter. It's going to say applying tweaks. After a few seconds, it'll say finish tweaks. So everything's done. You want to see the logs for it to see if anything errored out. It's going to create this signs text document here. You can open this up and see. You'll get some errors and that's okay. That's completely normal. But if you see most of these that say operation completed successfully, then you know that it worked just fine. If you're seeing most of these saying that it's some kind of permission error or access denied, then something probably went wrong. But like I said before, you probably need to use power run because it doesn't have permissions. After you apply the main tweaks, you can import the power plan. Same way, just press the number two, press enter. It's gonna say it's importing my power plan. You get some error messages, that's completely fine too. You can just go to edit power plan. My power plan will automatically be imported and selected. After that, you're done with the utility. All you need to do now is restart your computer for the changes to apply. Also, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you, you can do some quick settings in here. Make sure that this middle option is checked. Use the advanced 3D image settings, manage 3D settings. You can set all these to off. Background application max frame rate off. Kind of copy the settings I have here. Low latency mode on. You have in-game settings for on plus boost to make sure you're using that. Keep copying these settings. Shader cache, you can set this to unlimited. Most games won't take up more than like 10 gigs anyway, but if you want to, you can. Vertical seek off. And then we want these two settings on. Configure surround for physics. You can change, you can set this to um, your GPU. Adjust desktop size and position. Make sure this is on no scaling. If you have a custom resolution with CRU set up and you know you need to use full screen or something else for it to work properly, of course, you can skip this. Come up here to desktop, enable developer settings, manage GPU performance counters. Set this to allow access to the GPU performance counters. Then click on this setting right here. It's going to be like this on default, change it to with the NVIDIA settings, click advanced over here, full, and then apply. So that'll apply the settings, you can click yes. Also up here on NVIDIA control panel, if you click, click on help, you can go to system information. You want to make sure resizable bar support says yes. The resizable bar right here says yes. If it says no, make sure you go in your BIOS and you enable that. Other than that, if you guys have any issues with the executable or any questions, feel free to join the Discord and DM me. I'll be happy to help out with anything you guys have. I'm also going to be posting more optimization videos in the future, so leave a comment on what you want to see next. Other than that, though, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.